I'm Rachel with Shades of Blue Interiors and today we are going to learn how to paint fabric with chalk paint. Yay! Uh, the first thing I want to go over is why chalk paint? Any Sloan chalk paint to be specific. Chalk paint is a porous paint which means it is breathable which makes it ideal to paint wood and fabric because spe fabric specifically needs to have some breathability in order for it to not feel super crunchy. So that's why I'm using Andy Sloan chalk paint. Uh, the second thing I want to go over is what types of fabric are best to paint. I would say anything that doesn't have a super bold pattern or a very, very much of a nap. Low nap or completely smooth fabrics are best best if they don't have much of a pattern or if they do really subtle pattern. It's best if they don't have uh, a raised type of a, a texture, like, like a pattern texture. And, the, and this is because like, the finished product just looks and feels smoother and better. A lot of people I've heard say it feels like leather. I think it kind of feels like outdoor fabric, but it gets softer with time. So that's a nice thing and it doesn't transfer onto clothing. So that's a great aspect as well. So as you can see, I've already gotten started a little bit with this, but I wanted to go over the basic supplies you're gonna need. You are going to want to have your chalk paint, and this is really messy because I've, my son has used it before, but this is Napoleonic blue chalk paint. You're gonna wanna get water. I have some water here, and you're gonna also want, okay, so you wanna get your squirt bottle. And you're going to want a paintbrush and a container. I'm using this to mix the, the paint to dilute the paint in. And you're going to start, I would say, with about a one-to-one -one ratio of water and chalk paint for the first coat. And uh, I just pour it in here, add a little bit of water, stir it up, and the consistency is, is pretty drippy, as you can see. So, first things first. As you can see, I already got started, but I'll show you how it works. You just moisten the fabric wherever you're gonna paint, like that. And these squirt water bottles I found at Walmart for like a couple bucks, so they're really affordable. And you drip off any excess, and you just start painting. Because it's diluted so much, the paint does go further than you'd think it would and it soaks in better because it's watered down and you've already pre-moistened the fabric. So you paint and paint and you do, I would say you do three total coats, but you may do less. You may only do two coats depending on the original starting color and the color that you choose. Lighter paint colors that you go over with darker fabric is gonna require more coats. Uh, this, I would say maybe two coats with a little touch up here and there because it's already a dark fabric and I'm painting it a dark color. Oh, one that's nice thing, oh, as you can see, I got it on the wood. But the nice thing is that you can just wipe it up really easily. If you get paint on the wood while you're, while you're painting around the edges, you don't have to tape it off. Just, just get it a little bit wet and then just wipe it off and it, and it cleans up really easily. So that is painting the fabric. After the first coat, you don't have to pre-moisten with the squirt water bottle. You're just gonna want, especially with velvet type material, you'll take some sandpaper, and I, this is like 120, and I would brush it up after the first coat and after the second coat on velvet material, just to soften the fabric, because it does feel a little bit stiff, and then once you do that, it softens a lot, and then you can choose to do a, a wax finish. But I'll show you what it looks like after I've painted everything and done the second coat and you're going to want to make sure to have it dry 24 hours in between each coat. Okay, I just finished the second coat and as you can see the coverage is amazing and I don't think I'm going to do a third coat. I'll probably just once it's completely dry go back and touch up any areas that looks like I got a little bit of un uneven coverage. And you'll notice you can see a little bit almost looks splotchy in some areas just because it's still wet. So. It doesn't stay that way, and then when you sand it before you wax it, it'll look a little, a little bit lighter as well, but I love it already. Okay, we are back. It is, I guess this is officially day three, because, no, day two. 
because I did the, the second coat on it. I've already started, I sanded parts of it, and this is like, people think it's kind of funny, like sanding fabric, what? But yes, and I mean, if you have a really stiff brush, this will work just fine, but I just have sandpaper, and I'm using like 120 grit, and it really just, just softens up the nap of this type of fabric and what makes it feel like fabric again. Like This is soft, you guys. Like This makes me excited. Like Even though I've done this before, like painting fabric is exciting because you can get a completely new look when it still feels like fabric. It's like, oh my gosh, I can use this. I love it. Okay, so I've already sanded this region. You can see it's like a little bit soft, like a little bit lighter. And I sanded this half of it. And so I just wanted to show you guys what it looks, what you do when you sand it so there's no confusion. You just, you kind of treat it like, you know, when you're sanding a piece of wooden furniture or something. Okay, so then I'm gonna finish this up. I like to seal painted fabric with clear wax because it kind of gives it a protective almost like a waterproof coating and it gives it a really soft supple feel as well so how you do that is I just get a rag and I have you can't see it but I have a little bit start with a little bit and then you just rub it in and this is also what is going to make the material soften over time is the clear wax and do not fret the wax dries completely and it will not rub off on you so you don't have to worry so it still feels complete it doesn't feel waxy it still feels completely soft but we just really just sealed in we basically just dyed the fabric and you're sealing it in with the wax you can expect to go through maybe a whole can of clear wax on this entire thing because fabric absorbs wax more and there's not really we're not going to dilute it so. that is basically how you wax this and you'll see areas that are lighter than than others and then you'll you'll know where you need to add in more wax and then you just wipe off the excess so this is going to take a while so I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera, but I just thought I'd show you the basics of how to wax it. And then once it's done, I'll take some pictures and I'll show you guys. So this is how you paint and wax a chair, a fa the fabric on a chair, and the results are beautiful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment in the post. And hope you enjoyed the video.